We beg you, please don't squander one bit of this marvelous life God has given us. God reminds us, I heard your call in the nick of time. The day you needed me, I was there to help. Well, now is the right time to be helped. Now is the right time to be helped. Stop showing up late putting question marks on everything that we are doing, our work gets validated or not in the details. The details. Well, I'm not sure if Patricia's supposed to be preaching. I'm sorry, it's too late. It's too late. She's already doing it. So stop showing up, putting question marks on it. Just go ahead and go with it. Well, I don't, I don't know if I'm supposed to be preaching. Well, then figure it out. But in my opinion, the Great Commission was your permission to go into all the world and preach the gospel, to see signs and miracles and wonders, and everywhere you go to make disciples. All in, full on. That is what we have permission to do. And I'm going to share an embarrassing story about me because I don't know who else to make fun of. But, uh, you know, basically, my husband and I have this incredible privilege of giving away books all over the world. And we have given away, I think at the end of this year, we'll have given away 15 million individual resources to people who cannot access them because of poverty or persecution. Just in the last six months, I have been to Iraq, I've been to Dubai, I've been to Brazil, I've been to Israel, I've been to Egypt, I've been to Russia, I've been to Korea, I've been to Singapore, I've been to Vietnam, I've been to Australia, and Monday I leave for South Africa. All over the world, people would do anything, anything for you, you and I have. And my husband and I believe that the gift of God in our life is to write books. And so what we take is what is in our hand, we break it, we thank God for it, and then we throw it out into the nations. And so one of the nations that we so very intentionally and very strategically in are the Arab-speaking worlds. And our amazing guy who was distributing our materials in Syria was killed by ISIS. And I don't know if your American bubble has ever been popped the way mine was popped that day. I was on my way, I'm just gonna be honest, to get dermabrasion done. I have a friend, she's like, hey, you need to come in and let me scrape off your face. I see you on Instagram. Come on, we need to take off some layers. So anyway, she's like, anytime, come in, scrape your face off for free. And so anyway, I was, I was like, okay, I'll, I'll be in. And I'm driving in my car with my Christian music going and my air conditioning going to get microdermabrasion. Of course, I canceled the appointment. When I get the call, the edict had been killed. And I remember... They said, will, will you write a letter to his widow? And I said, yes, of course I will. Of course I'd be honored. And then I hung up the phone and I began to panic. And I thought, what do I say to this woman? What do I say? And I thought, you know what? I need to talk to an older woman. I'm calling Joyce Meyer. I'm calling Joyce Meyer right now. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, stop it. You are an older woman. And you need to figure this out. You need to stop putting question marks where I want you to put exclamation marks and periods. You need to make his life count for something. This is not about you, Lisa. This is not about how you feel about it. So I, I, called, I called our guy and I said, okay, I, I, Rob, I'm having such a hard time with this. And he said, Lisa, some give much and others give all. And he said, what it is, is we have to be all in, whether it's much or whether it's all. There are people here under the sound of my voice, you're gonna give all. And there's other ones under the sound of my voice, you're gonna give much. But no matter what we end up giving, we need our heart to be all 